What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another massive tub or massive box full of older or just WWE action figures, man. We have a lot of videos like this on the channel where we have a big box or bag or some other, and we go through it and we talk about the figures a little bit, give you a little background knowledge on it, talk about it a little bit. We're going to break every single figure down one by one, and this one's actually kind of a special deal, this blue tub that I got right here. I don't know if, if anybody knows out there. Some of you probably know if you follow along closely but if you guys were unaware I coach high school football outside of this channel I help coach out at my alma mater where I used to play high school football and the team found out about the channel and so they were talking about their old collections that they used to have and so that is pretty much what this video is this is actually one of my players collections shout out to my man Archie and we have a game today so Archie better ball the hell out but he said he and his younger brother had a collection or an older collection and I said yeah bring, bring me the figures man we'll do a video on them so this is that video so I appreciate that but with all that being said, man, let's shut the hell up, dive into the massive tub full of figures, and see what we got here. The first figure that's standing out to me, guys, is going to be this basic Triple H right here. It's just the one that caught my eye initially. And I gotta be real with you, I, I do believe this basic is from like 2010 or around that time frame. I could be wrong about that, but this is the same head sculpt they use on the Elite 2 Triple H. Not the best head sculpt, to be honest with you. They've, they've done plenty more after that, but decent little Triple H basic right here. Good standard Triple H. This is back when basics were worth a shiz. Now they're just the worst thing you've ever seen, but you get the bicep articulation, the wrist articulation. These figures don't feel like they're going to snap in half like modern basics do, so that's always great to see, but we're starting things off with Triple H. Now, this is a figure I didn't expect to see on in here, but we have a Phineas Godwin Bone Crunchers 2-pack from way back in the day. Now, this is classic right here. Now, you can bet your bottom dollar they would not put anything Rebel Flag or anything like that on anything that they produce nowadays, but he's got his camo hat on there. There's actually some good detail in here with, like, the dry brushing on the overalls but yeah i did not expect to see a bone cruncher in here but he does have a bone cruncher in here which is a kind of a throwback there we do have a few more right here we actually have another bone cruncher right here this is a crush bone cruncher he's even got the tattoo on the forehead yeah anybody you know we, we we like to complain about figures nowadays man but what would you do if mattel pumped out a figure that looked like that like that yeah, it wouldn't be good, especially if I reviewed it. Everybody already knows that. Next up, it looks to be that we have a Big Show right here. Now, I thought for sure. I, I didn't know what was going on for a second there. But you do have a decent little Big Show right here. I do believe we they made an Elite equivalent of this. Like, same exact gear and everything. But Big Show's a nice... Yeah, it's got some nice stuff going on. Very big basics. And I think this is a solid little figure there. Next up... Wow, snap. We have a Jax CM Punk figure. Does have a little bit of paint chip here. But he's got the black and pink trunks here. So we got CM Trunks. He's got his tattoos on there. I, I think that we have seen probably... I don't think we've seen our last CM Punk from AEW and Jazzwares. I think we're going to get that Luminaries collection from Unmatched Series. But yeah, this is probably... That just kind of made me think of modern CM Punks. But this is a solid figure right here. Anybody that was watching wrestling back in the day had a punk like this, man. Next up, we have a Miz Basic. Actually, a really strong head sculpt right here. Elite 37 head sculpt. Black trunks. Nothing special going on with the Miz here. But I'd still take it over a modern Miz, man. Can you imagine if Basics had removable arms that were double-jointed? Doubt we ever get there, but it's still cool to think about. Next up is, my God, we have a headless Bone Cruncher manager figure. Or it may not have been one of the manager series, but it is a Savio Vega Bone Cruncher figure with the waist swivel, the arms right there. Not all the bells and whistles, but it's a decent little figure, but it is headless. I don't know if his head's in there or not, but you got Savio Vega. We also have, this is probably the most modern figure. There may be another modern figure in here, but probably the most modern figure, so around what 20 was it 2016 maybe 2017 early may have been 2016 but we have the defining moments great american bash sting figure ridiculous jacket like oh my god that goddamn fucking old school mattel stuck in that pose jacket gonna... you already know what's up with the jacket but this is a very nice figure i like this figure a lot even though my, mine was a dig on bobblehead this one's not as bad as mine was we have a darren young battle pack so this one this actual battle pack right here with titus o'neill and darren young pretty damn good figures actually like for for the time especially the head sculpt right here I like the torso i like the gold gear and everything like that these kind of hit retail around the same time so i'm not sure if he bought all these in one trip but i know all of these were hitting around the same time i'm pretty sure so that's probably what happened there also this just hit me out of nowhere but i'm pretty sure this basic Kalisto was also hitting around that same time again i could be wrong but I, I, if i'm just going off the cuff here i do believe that was the, the deal but this Kalisto is a pretty damn good basic as well i miss good basics man you don't get them anymore speaking of a good basic 
classic. You have this Ric Flair Evolution, Ruthless Aggression Era style Ric Flair right here is what I would call this. Kind of a evolution-based basic Ric Flair. Great looking head sculpt on it. I think this is a fantastic, especially to be an older basic. I think this is fantastic. Great looking Rick. They also have an Undertaker figure. He's got the faux hawk going. It's pretty decent right there. Another basic. We got a Sheamus. Pretty damn good Sheamus head sculpt right there. Like some of these classic Mattel head sculpts, man, they were money. They were on the money. They may have been cartoony, but I, I think they nailed the likeness on some of these. One guy they really didn't nail the likeness on, in my opinion, is going to be Seth Rollins. I never liked this head sculpt, but you have a shield version of a basic, and then you have singles version right here. And this may have been the one that came with the the Money in the Bank briefcase, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, we got a couple Seth Rollins basics. We have the other half of our Godwin's 2-pack here, headless. So that's good. We have a part of a ring here, which I'll show you guys at the end. We have we have some ring play sets that I'll show you guys at the end there, but we have a Kevin Owens basic. Got one of the best in the world right here. Ah, uh, this may have been his first figure ever. I can't remember if the Elite 43 or the base. I want to say his basic came first, so this may have been Kevin Owens' first basic figure. We have a Randy Orton basic. Pretty good right here. Got the black and gray trunks. Looks like a dog or something got to the knee pad, but you know, we've all been there. Next up, I think this is one of those create a superstar packs where you know you build your superstar or whatever the hell it is, but got some pants right there. We have a lower shin on something. I have no idea what the hell that is. We got a Mark Henry basic. That's a that's a lot of effing plastic, Brad. I love that gear, though. The Hall of Fame. Got the, uh, the United States flag right there. Solid little head skull. This basic may be better than his elite. I ain't even gonna fight nobody. We have the Then Now Forever Walmart exclusive Tyler Breeze Elite. I remember when these first hit, these were a hot commodity. Remember finding the entire wave at Walmart. Pretty decent little wave right there. We'll have to see if he has the rest of the set in here, but do have Tyler Breeze, which is a really good elite. We have a classic Hulk Hogan basic right here. They're still giving us this head skull. I know it doesn't have the bandana on it. This is the head sculpt that has the bandana molded on there, but they still give us this head sculpt. This is pretty much the exact same head, man. We have a Ken Shamrock Bone Crunchers, for the love of God. And then we have a Jerry Lawler Bone Cruncher. So we got a few Bone Crunchers coming in here. Pretty cool. Classic stuff. Nice to relive the moments. We have a Ultimate Warrior Basic. Might have been a Walmart exclusive. I can't remember. Or it may have been the same basic series as Seth Rollins. I can't remember off the top of the dome, but solid little Ultimate Warrior head sculpt that we still get to this day. They still give us this head skull. We have a Roman Reigns basic. Probably the worst Roman Reigns head they've ever done. They put it on the Elite 38 as well. Nice promo gear. This is before they gave him the full shoulder tattoo. Used to drive me nuts. Thank God they got away from that. Alright, we got a Rocky Bone Cruncher. Looking a bit rough, but you know, he gets the job done. It's crazy to see how far we've come from figures, man. Just unbelievable. Next up, it looks like we have a Steve Austin Bone Cruncher for just not a... a like the head sculpt for the time, I guess, is atrocious, but not, not good. We have a basic Dean Ambrose, one of my least favorite Dean Ambrose head sculpts I've ever done, but, you know, it's better than selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. We have a Psycho Sid Bone Cruncher in the Navy gear. Nice looking tan on this guy. I do believe this is Psycho Sid. Probably the best figure or my favorite figure in the entire box is the Elite 41 Finn Balor. Beautiful, even though they gave him the small torso. Beautiful looking Elite. It's like you can kind of see where, the, you know, they stopped collecting full time a little bit as the most modern figures around 2016-ish, but this is the best figure in the box, hands down. Just a beautiful figure. Even though the torso's wrong, they gave him the small torso. Makes me want to vomit. Great figure overall. We have a WrestleMania chair. This came with somebody. I, I, I think it came with this Rock figure, actually. Did it come with this Rock figure? The then, now, forever Walmart exclusive Rock. Pretty decent little figure right there. I like how they have the, like, Nike Pro Combat, like, gray stripes in there. I guess it would be an Under Armour shirt, not Nike, but you get the point. We have a couple championships here. We have a white IC championship, and we have the winged eagle white strap. I think this came with that basic Ultimate Warrior in the white as well. Oh, snap. I may have misspoke. This might be the best figure that's in this box. The Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler. What a gem of a figure. Legs a bit loose, but this is a beautiful piece right here, man. One of the best Elite Dolphs they've ever done. Got his black boots on there. Looks very, very good. Great figure. We have the Elite 38 Daniel Bryan. Very, very good figure as well. Got the red and silver in there. Nice, solid shirt there. This, this figure is in the shelf warming Hall of Fame, for the love of Christ. You could walk in a store today and probably find this figure. We got a Money in the Bank contract. I think this came with that Seth Rollins basic, I'm telling you. I think that's the case. We have a Shawn Michaels basic. Kind of the basic version of the Elite, what, 19? I think it was Shawn Michaels. We have a Sting basic. Now that I'm seeing this, now that I'm seeing this, I feel like this may have came with that Ultimate Warrior in that battle pack, and they did the championship with it. Could be wrong about that, but you have a short sleeve Sting. Got a nice little Sheamus figure. We have a beautiful Ryback figure. Lots of 
colors on here, man. Lots and lots of colors on this right back. Nice dry brushing detail and stuff like that on the singlet. Decent little head sculpt. These figures weren't half bad. I think the scaling was a little off, but we have the Then Now Forever Rusev Elite. So, it looks like they have the full wave outside of Bam Bam Bigelow in this box, but this figure was pretty solid. I think I took mine apart immediately, but yeah. We have a entrance coat that I think came with that Create a Superstar pack. I think uh, we have a basic John Cena, which anybody that's ever collected Mattel WWE has probably owned a John Cena basic at one point or another. So, that's probably the case there. We have a great Hulk Hogan basic. Very cool. I always like the torso they gave him. I think that, that works really, really well for Hulk Hogan. We have a Wade Barrett basic. They made an elite of this. This, which isn't as good, obviously, but this is still a quality basic. Got a basic cane figure. Kind of loose in the shoulder right there, but not terrible. I don't know. It's pretty god-awful. We have a Bret Hart bone cruncher with its leg and head snapped off. Hate to see it. We have a Curtis Axel basic. Solid-looking head sculpt. Very quality Curtis Axel head. We have a Triple H Jax figure. Look at that face. Mmm. Pain and agony. We have a basic Brock Lesnar. Very cool. Tons and tons of basic Brock Lesnars over the years. We have what seems to be like some of those create a superstar things right here. So, you know, you can like plug this in here. And then look, I can create a superstar, plug boots in and make my own. Very, very cool idea. Just uh, not, you know, not for me. You know, I understand the whole gimmick there. But I think if it was better quality, maybe you could get people on board. Especially that like to do fix-ups and customs and stuff. But just didn't, didn't quite work for me. Maybe one of the best basics in this whole box is this. Neville. I remember when this head sculpt first came out I thought it was fantastic. He's got the good knee pads on there. Very quality, basic overall. A lot of people were losing their faces over this basic Neville, so there's that. Oh crap, we have an Elite Bray Wyatt in here. Very, very nice. This figure also shelf formed. Couldn't really tell you why, but he's got the green pants on there. Very quality stuff going on right here. Came so far, man. We're 60 series away from Elite 36 now. Honestly, hard to believe, but decent little figure. Never liked the formula, though. And then finishing up the box and then showing off the play sets. We have a Damien Mizdow that probably went with that Miz in a battle pack. So you have a Damien Mizdow figure. You have a Cesaro figure, which is the basic version of pretty much the Elite 33, which isn't terrible. So this rock right here actually came in the battle pack with that Ric Flair we saw. The Evolution Ric Flair, because it is from WrestleMania 20, I think it was. It was the Rock and Sock Connection versus Evolution in a tag team match, and it was, uh, this is the rock that came with that Ric Flair. And then we have a Sin Cara in the Navy Gold and Red, and and he came with this mask, I do believe. I think that was a battle pack. It may not have been, but you know, you could stick you could stick this mask over this mask and have like a removable mask. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, we also had a dull flat version of the Intercontinental Championship with no paint detail. We had a WWE mic, and then we had a Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt for whatever reason. But that was the full tub. But I do want to show off these play sets real quick. All right, so he has a few different basic rings here. You have the Elimination Chamber one, then, and he actually does have the chamber, which is pretty sick. But he's got the basic chamber play set here. And I know a lot of people that will pay a lot of damn good money for that basic chamber because we've really never had it again. I'm not going to set it up here, but you guys can see had all the pieces to it. Does have the chambers and everything like that. I don't think he's selling it, you know, but I've seen people do full-blown matches with this chamber. Apologize for the lighting, but you guys can see the roof here. It's got all the pods. It's a damn good play set. Maybe it'll be the next crowdfunder. Now, he told me he also had the Hell in a Cell somewhere, but we do have the Cell basic ring right here, which is pretty much the exact same ring it's pretty much the same ring as the Elimination Chamber one. You know how many damn basic rings they've made, Brad? Like a million. We also have this Crash ring that has the gimmick, you know, where you can, like, slam through the middle. Which is pretty cool. Never... Not a bad little gimmick to put in the basic ring. And then arguably the best one he has is the crane operation here where you can do like a ladder match so you can hook, you know, a belt or something to that. And you have the operational crane arm right there that goes down. I think this is pretty cool. I think if you took this, you could stick it on top of something and have, you know, a championship or something like that hooked down below. Have them climb for it. I think that's a pretty good gimmick right there. I always enjoyed this ring. Never owned it before, but I always thought it was a cool little gimmick. I think it's called the crash cage. And then you put somebody in the, in the shark cage and like hoist them above the ring. Ring, I do believe is what this was, but you can also do ladder matches with it and stuff, but that's pretty much the collection. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the collection and going through, kind of taking, you know, diving a little bit into a time capsule today or stepping into the time machine a little bit. That is going to wrap up the video. If you guys are interested in an MDT jersey, please let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know down in the comment section below. I do apologize for the timing and everything like that, man. It's been really, really crazy busy these days with all the different hats I'm wearing, so I do apologize for that, but that's that's gonna wrap it up, man. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Shout out to Archie for letting me borrow the collection. And let's go get this dub. You cross